We're here at Burlington's Freeman Station and there's a celebration today. After two years of being closed during the pandemic to the public, they're opening and welcoming friends from the community back to visit. What's changed if you haven't been here in the past two years? Well, for sure, you can see the caboose right behind me here. This is a 1920s caboose. It's original CN. And behind that is the boxcar, which was uh, from 1913, something like that. So uh, we're going to restore that over the next this summer, for sure. The, the caboose, anyway. So when you come to Freeman Station, there's so much to do. There's so much to see. What can somebody expect when they're on site here? Well, first of all, the outside, it's a huge part here. You can see the outside of the station. In the basement, we have running trains uh, that represent the story of Burlington from about the 1950s, the golden age of steam, and they can see that downstairs. If uh, you come to the back here, you can see our rolling stock, and we have uh, more on our website, photographs, artifacts, lanterns, that kind of thing. Lots for everybody. I was passing out the flyers to people so they know where everything is. And I was touring people. I really like the station. It's awesome because kids can come here and learn about history. And is there a favorite part? What do you love to see the most when you come to the station? I really like seeing in the basement, there's like little go trains down there, but not like the ones we have now, just like old ones like from back then and they go around the train tracks and there's a bunch of other stuff and there's the station and what it looked like a long time ago. So Ontario Tourism Foundations, I'm part of the Halton Pier Grand Preview team. We donated $13,300 to the Friends of Freeman Station. That enabled them to actually reopen by making it more accessible and more engaging. So they've invested a lot of money with audio. And I don't know if you had a chance to go in yet. So they've invested a lot of it in audio so that it makes it much more engaging for people to come in and see the history of it, understand the history. Because a lot of the young people here in Burlington are not probably familiar with it, but you have the old enthusiasts. That's very, very passionate. So now you bring in that culture and continuation of that history with a new generation. Burlington's Freeman Station is truly the station the community built. From young to old, there's something for everyone here at the station. So be sure to check it out at their upcoming open houses. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Kimberly Calderbank.